राजश्री वेंकटरमणन रीडिंग एटी वर्ड्स इंग्लिश शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन प्लीज प्रैक्टिस थ्री और फोर टाइम्स ईच डिक्टेशन एंड ट्रांसक्राइब इन टू इंग्लिश दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके वी कैन स्टार्ट आई एम प्लीज to announce that we are about to present before our state legislature two bills of very great importance to all shorthand reporters these bills are a certified shorthand reporter law which would require all shorthand reporters to be licensed in order to practice in our state this would necessary to the passing of competency examination before licensure this act includes a grandfather's clause which licenses those are who have practiced short hand reporting for one year for short proceeding is an act may to say the least passing of certified short hand reporter legislation would raise the short hand reporter to the professional standing he will deserves the second bill is legislation to raise the statutory transcription rate from 3 cents a folio for the original copy to 50 cents a folio from 10 cents a folio to 20 cents a folio on copies it should be noted that there has been no increase in the copy rate since 1951 and no increase in the original rate since 1960 61 history also reveals that the transcription rate has only been increased three times since the late 1800s has you might well imagine the cost of proceeding with these two pieces of legislation will be high we also are going to have to incur traveling printing and mailing expenses to inform legislators and our membership as to our reasons for asking for rate increase and to inform them of the benefits of certified shorthand report as soon as all our printed data becomes available there will be further mailing to you you will be supplied with copies of both bills and brochures explaining why this legislation should be passed you will be notified to contact your local legislators to make 
them apart from the aid that we receive from foreign governments we welcome private investments from abroad and we have taken which we hope we encourage some private investment in india our third five year plan is now about to end and we shall shortly be entering into the period of four plan looking to the tremendous needs of the country and the urgent necessity for quicker growth and development it has to be a plan much bigger in size than our provisions plans in fact it is expect will need huge reasons both internal and external the country will have to bear a heavy burden but there is no choice because we cannot halt in our onward march agriculture and industry are the two most important elements of the plan agriculture has assumed added importance because we have to reduce the present heavy dependence on imports and make ourselves self sufficient in food not only that many of our agricultural products 